Okay, first things first guys, tools, required tools. Um, you require a knife, sharp blade. Um, the system of gaming scenery stuff is on the sprues pretty well with little tabs, so you need to uh, trim them off, cut them off. Um, as usual with a knife, please be careful with it. Very sharp, um, so make sure you don't cut yourself. Secondly, paintbrush. Not for painting, because we're assembling, but for applying white glue, wood glue, that sort of thing. Um, get that from anywhere really, any sort of building merchants or whatever, what have you. Plenty of white glue, good stuff. So what I'm going to do is uh, open the pack up. I'm going to actually plan this one out a little bit more by removing everything from the sprue and working out what's going to go onto what building so that we don't have any issues with doors and stuff like that. Um, so what I'll do is I shall remove it, um, do all of that uh, off camera so that you guys don't have to sit through me doing some boring stuff. Okay guys, uh, back in a sec. Okay guys, so I've removed the components from the sprues had a sort through um, and what we've got here are the components for the top level uh, one which is that one there okay so we've got the, uh, the floor for it uh, the two floor stands so if you want it as a separate model they hold it up off of the floor Two end pieces, one with a door, one without, and you'll notice that they're the special shaped ones. One roof. Uh, we've then got uh, the door stand for the door, so we'll be doing that bit at the moment during it. Uh, these components here, these little tiny pieces, ooh, they go in the uh, the ends of the floors and the ends of the ceiling, uh, and they stop them from sliding when it's stacked up. And then we've got the top wall sections that are the uh, the makeup that bit there okay um, first thing I noticed when I cut these out is we've got two sets of these top sections we've got that set which has got the three windows and then the other set which has got the two windows uh, I also noticed that they're different sizes as you can see there And the same with that one, as you can see, and they correspond with the edges of these walls that they go on. So the shorter ones go on the top wall, top edge, like that, and the longer ones go on, or the deeper ones go on the bottom edge. Um, also, the other thing I noticed was that uh, the top pieces, that one and that one, have a sort of like a frame at the bottom of the window which won't come out if you pop the windows out. Um, make sure when you build these that that is at the bottom of the bend like that. So you've got the framework there. So then when you put the other piece on like that, if you were to pop the windows out, you'd actually have like a window frame part in the middle. So it looks like it's got a bit of integrity on it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start making these and we'll start with the base, which is this blighter here. Open me glue. Got me nice side now, don't require that anymore. Got me glue here. Well, first thing we can do is glue the uh, floor supports on. So, dab of glue. Okay, uh, and then what we want to do is get two of these little components. Two of those little components. 
and they will go on the ends there and there in the centre. Okay, put that to side. Okay, that's good. The actual, uh, what looks to be a square, isn't actually a square, it's slightly off, which means that you can only put the end pieces on one end, like that, because they're not actually long enough to fit in that way. That's handy, isn't it? So, let's glue them in. them in place. Yep. And what we we'll do is we'll stick the base parts on. Okay guys remember what I said here um, <coughs> we've already got that face on uh, which doesn't have, the, doesn't have the frame for the window at the top. The larger piece has this frame piece at the bottom and that needs to be at the bottom when we apply it. So, keep that in mind. Okay, now onto the roof. Uh, the roof's quite simple. <coughs> Turn it upside down. You want two of those. And they just go into these bits. So, dab a glue in there. Dab a glue in there. Oops, let's actually get some glue. them in like that. I'll wipe on this side. And then they pop. And it's just the door to do. One of those. <coughs> Dab the glue. Okay, <clears throat> the next building has a square roof. Well, it's not quite square. Now I'll show you one in a minute. Longer base. That part is the floor inside the building, and then this is like a walkway, balcony type of thing. Two walls with windows. Two end walls, one with a door, one without. We also need one, two, three supports to go on there, and two supports to go on the roof. And then we will need two of those. For that piece, so that the uh, Roof slides, oh, the roof doesn't slide, and then two for the floor just in case you want to use it as a roof on something else. 
So, let's start with the floor, shall we? Flip it over. Dab of glue in this small hole at the end. Insert one of them. Take the door out, or it fell out. <clears throat> One of those to make the door stand. All right, then we've got. Uh, Two side walls, two end walls. You go on this one. Yeah, you can't get them wrong because the end walls have got these little tags at the bottom and glue into the base, whereas the side walls have these tabs here, um, and the walls are different lengths as well. So <clears throat> it really is quite impossible to put these together wrong. Um, I would suggest putting the end walls on first because the side walls clip into them like that. Just put them on first. Dunk dunk, and they should possibly, hopefully, go in. So we'll do that first. When you're pushing them on, be careful you don't push on the windows. If you don't want the windows taken out, then make sure you don't push on them because they're only held in by uh, the two little tabs. And you might end up putting your thumb through the window if you're not careful. <coughs> Same with the other side. And there you go guys, that's that built as well. 
and in the roof. Sits on it like that. Lovely jubbly. Back to one side. Yep. Pop that over to one side for now. The final parts we've got are these components here, which make up a ladder, and these components here that make up a ramp that go onto the front uh, for that walkway. So we'll just make them up. Let me just have a look on this ladder. It's um, okay. I see. Yeah, we've got this third piece here for the ladder as well. It looks like it goes. No, it's that way around. Right, so. Okay, so you see it's actually got um, a rounded bottom at that end and a point at that end. This pointed end here is the top. So that goes at the top. So you're going to we'll always work with them at the top. So we'll place them like that. And then we want the ladder we got flat like that and nubules. The flat piece is always at the. Let me just check that. Yeah, the flat piece is always at the top, so that will sit in there like that. And then this piece here sits at the bottom and points towards the building. So the building will actually be along this edge. So that will actually go in like that, from the looks of it. So we want to be gluing it in like that on the rounded bottom. Can you see that? So we should do that now. And you do one side of the ladder like that. And then the ladder itself, remember, flat part there at the top there, inserts like that. Have a glue on the corner there as well of the cross brace to help hold the ladder to the cross brace. And then we glue the other side.
This could probably be a little bit tricky, guys, because you've got three pieces. But we'll give it a go. In it goes. Lovely. And there you have your staircase built. Staircase. Ladder. Ladder built. And then that. Get one of these. See the two notches at the bottom? There and there. Those two little tabs there slot into them. Like that. And there you have it. I'm not gluing it on because it means you can remove it if need be. Um, but the reason that that goes up on there is because then you can take this roof off. This building with the doorway there can go on top like that. You see that? Marvellous, eh? Marvellous, marvellous. Wonderful building. And then this piece here can be used to extend that if you wanted. Or it could go there like that down the side. We've got railings. Go on like that. Second door that goes in the back. And there's a little bit of a trim at the top. Just remove the tab. Ah, there we go. The doors will loosen. There's still a little bit of friction there, which is cool. And there we have it, guys. Look at that. Beautiful model. Don't fancy it set up like that. What you can do is have it like that. This one's shown on the... Uh, Cover picture. There we go.